there are many parameters that look to be extraordinarily fine-tuned in the universe, the cosmological constant perhaps being the most profound. And because of this, a body of work has developed called the Anthropic Principle, which seems to explain the reason for this fine-tuning in terms of the necessity of an observer having to exist in a situation where these laws are so to allow observers. And many physicists have begun to use this as part of their theoretical work. As an observational cosmologist, how do you view that principle? As an observational cosmologist, I would have to say I just I don't care very much for the anthropic principle, um, other than for it being an interesting argument do conditions in the universe, how did life arise in the universe, how did we get here to be able to answer, to, to ask questions about the universe. Um, so for example, if the cosmological constant were much greater, the repulsive force was greater, then uh, galaxies would never have had an opportunity to collapse, the repulsion would have won out over the formation of galaxies, stars, planets, us, we wouldn't be here to ask those questions. So I think it's an interesting question. Um, clearly, uh, if we weren't living in a universe that had uh, conditions that were propitious for the um, development of life, then um, it would live, <laughs> what do I want to say? <laughs> um, then we wouldn't be here to ask those questions. We wouldn't be here to ask those questions. Um, but it strikes me slightly as that this is a, these are new ideas. We don't always know with a theory where is it going to go. Um, are all the pieces of experimental evidence that we now are in place, will they all turn out to be right in the future? Will the theoretical ideas uh, be enhanced by some new young Einstein out there who will see the world in a different way, the way Einstein did, for example, and suddenly things will make sense. Um, if uh, we look back to just orbits of the planets, um, early on people thought they had to be circular, it went back to the idea of the Greeks, and Kepler spent eight years trying to force the orbit of Mars to be circular before he finally gave up and admitted it was an ellipse. So we have preconceptions, and sometimes we try and fit them, and they turn out to be wrong. So it strikes me somewhat as looking up the answer in the back of a textbook. You know what the question is? We know we have to be here, um, but it's kind of unsatisfying not to see the details of how we got here. But it may be too intractable a problem. We may be stuck with that, the fact that we won't have a theory that will predict what some of these fundamental constants are, why they have those values. That may be the case. But a couple decades into a problem, I'm not ready to give up. I don't find it a satisfying answer. Um, so I, I think it's helpful, but I think it in, in many senses um, may be taking you away from the actual problem or looking at the problem in a way that we just don't yet see how to look at it. So it's interesting, but um, again, as an observational cosmologist, you know, can measure things, but this, this is just something that uh, I think has to play out in its early days, in my view.